Hey, what's going on, everybody? Microsoft has just released another insider build for Windows 11 in the Canary channel, that build being 26 to 52. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at all the new features, any fixes, and also any known issues with this build. All right, first up is the lock screen. They have rolled out weather and more. So these are like little widgets or little informationals on your lock screen. Uh, starting in this build in the Canary channel, so you can stay informed and efficient with dynamic updates that bring finance, traffic, sports, and weather, and more to your lock screen. The card design has been improved with acrylic blur, card size, spacing, and font optimizations. If you want to turn this feature on, just go to settings, personalization, and lock screen. All right, the next new feature takes place in the start menu. So let's take a look at that. If you launch your start menu in the pinned section of your start menu, you can now drag and drop any of your pinned applications directly to your taskbar and it'll pin them to the taskbar. So pretty cool. Next up, we see that Microsoft has given us a friendly reminder of our evaluation expires on date right here under system and about. So under windows specifications, You'll see evaluation expires on, and then it'll give you a date and time. For the next feature in this build, we look at system power and energy recommendations. Now, I don't see it on mine. This could be because I don't have a uh, HDR capable display through VMware here, but nonetheless, let's take a look at a screenshot. So this is a new feature, turn off HDR to conserve energy. So they're really pushing that go green movement. Okay, moving on to fixes. We're gonna look at one fix and then we'll just kind of talk through the rest of the fixes here. So the first one I wanna show you is actually under task manager. I'm in dark mode. There's been issues with displaying this stuff correctly and look at that, they did fix it. If you've seen any of my previous videos, all of these look like a, uh, I'm gonna blow this again, a Rorkshar, whatever that's called, Rorkshar test where it's like an ink blob, it was just completely black. If you've seen my previous insider build review videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It was pretty hideous. So good job, Microsoft, on cleaning that up and getting it fixed. Uh, the rest of these, we're just gonna talk about them briefly. So I'll drag this over to the screen here. So the rest of the fixes are, there was one fix when um, users were attempting to use voice typing in certain languages, such as Chinese. There was another fix. When you went through the Windows out of box experience, Pinion would be unexpectedly displayed twice in the list of available input methods. This is the one we just looked at with the task manager performance. There was a fix in settings. So they fixed an issue causing the settings apps startup to be way too large. They misspelled that there to be way too large for the available space for some users, causing them to be cut off fixed an issue where setting system power and battery unexpectedly had duplicate text when showing a warning about a slow charger. Interesting. Fixed an issue where the Windows update page in settings was not displayed correctly for some insiders after previous flight. No text would show up. If you were impacted by this, the update to this build with the fix should still happen on its own. However, you may need to wait a little. All right, so those were the fixes, really nothing to show there since they've been corrected at this point. And as far as known issues, guys, this is a repetitive one, redundant through all of mine so far, they haven't fixed it. Uh, there are reports that they're still investigating where if you're on build 26040 or build 23620 as part of the Canary dev channels, uh, you may get stuck on those for some reason and you might not be able to update from there so you can either go here to get the latest iso or you can go to something like uup dump and then you can grab the latest canary build iso and then you should be able to update from there i didn't experience this but apparently this is an issue because there's quite a few people talking about it all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the build review again this was windows 11 insider preview build 26 252 of course that's on version 24h2 let me know what you guys think Hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, hope you all have a great day.